Hello! <laughs> so I just wanted to take a little coffee break and maybe do a little Q&A with you guys and since I already have everything set up because I just got done filming, show you a little behind the scenes of how I film some of my videos. So this is the background you usually see. You don't really get to see the top portion much because it's out of the camera. Thanks for the hearts. Hi again from Panama. This is the closet side which gets pretty messy, um, but I did do a recent video on how to organize your craft supplies and I did everything in that video to my own craft supplies. So far it's still holding up pretty well. Um, it's, it is getting a little disorganized, but I'm trying to keep it um, just as well as I did in that video. So let me flip around this, do a little flip a -roo. Camera is this way. And that's my unprofessional light right there, but it does work. There's my fan to keep me cool because it gets really hot in here. Like with this window open and these, this monitor and this, and I got a printer and I got some hard drives under there. It just gets really hot in here. And this room gets a lot of afternoon sun. Is crafting your full-time job is one of the questions. Yes, well YouTube is my full-time job, so I, Basically, yeah, it is. Your focus seems to have shifted away from bookbinding. I was going to actually address this today. Okay, hello. Um, yes, for those of you who are following my bookbinding tutorials, I know I haven't made one in a while and I just wanted to tell you that there are more coming. So don't think that I just completely abandoned um, the bookbinding. There are bookbinding tutorials coming up, so just hang in there, they're coming. I love it all, I like seeing different things. Yeah, I that's kind of why I do go back and forth. I like variety personally. I you know, I don't like to stay on one thing all the time, but however I do end up going back to like the pattern videos and the drawing stuff and bookbinding and I am going back to bookbinding, so don't worry. Um, I just I do like to explore a lot. When I bought the DIY oh good. I hope you like the take and make kit. Yeah, you will like it. Oh, I hope you like it. <laughs> I like it. What about some gardening tutorials? I wouldn't mind doing gardening tutorials if I had a yard. So because I don't have a yard, that's why I don't have any gardening tutorials. But someday I will have a yard. Right now I do have some plants. So out here, I'm gonna show you my plant. This is my garden, that's Kona's food. So this is my garden right here. Um, I made some cement planters and there are more cement tutorials coming up soon because I have a humongous bag of cement that I need to use. If you guys want to see my dog Kona, she's laying... Hi Kona! I think she gets irritated when I talk to things, to the phone, to the camera. It's okay Kona. Oh there you go. Hello. Yes. Good girl. <laughs> so the next video coming up is uh, a pet DIY and Kona is in it. Oh, now she's tired. This is her afternoon nap time. So this is like the outside look of my office. And here, and I put my chair here, I put notes or talking points. And I'm sorry if you go back to my older videos, they are really scripted and I'm getting a lot better about being more comfortable in front of the camera. So I just try to stick to some talking points unless there's something I really need to remember to say to the camera. So I put that right here on my chair and then I'm um, like, hi guys. I do have a clicker, which is awesome. If you make videos on YouTube or you film yourself, get one of these because this will save you so much time and frustration. Seasonal DIYs, yes. Um, I have some coming out on HGTV Handmade and um, some on my own channel too, so just stay tuned for that. Did you go to school for design? Yes, I did. I majored in graphic design and I worked as a graphic designer for seven years in uh, design agencies. How much do you move your camera when you film the tutorials? Uh, when I film my tutorials, I usually have them on this table and you see a lot of above shots like this and then some people use two cameras at the same time when they film. I just have this one camera and I guess I just keep it simple. So once I'm kind of done doing this stuff, I just take it off of the tripod and then I sometimes film like at this angle and get some lighting in there. This lens is kind of heavy. Over time it has given me some some arm muscles so I'm not as shaky as I was before. Is it hard to become a girl? 
just questions and I'm missing them. <laughs> um, my experience as a graphic designer was really good and I still do graphic design. Um, it's mostly just on my own stuff. So I'm basically like my own in-house graphic designer because I maintain all the design on my channel. Um, I, I really liked making videos on YouTube and I, I like the variety of it. It's totally different than I thought I would be doing but I still get to get my design and art side out. I like the freedom to be creative on the YouTube channel. This is sound strange, but I think you could be a great audiobook reader. I haven't tried it, but <laughs> that might be fun. A lot of people seem to either hate my voice or love it, which I told, you know, I'm not everyone's cup of tea, but um, I totally understand that it is soothing and that's just my voice and that's just how it is. A brand of lipstick? Oh. I try to put something on my lips because I notice when I'm like filming myself and I don't put anything, my lips are like the same color as my face, as my skin, and it looks like I'm either like sick or maybe dying. <laughs> so I try to put something, add some little contrast. I like chapstick, I never really wear lipstick, but I have this lip balm that I use. This is like Neutrogena Revitalizing Lip Balm. How much time you should dedicate to film your videos every day? Because it's my job, um, I basically work on everything every day. If I'm not like physically working on stuff during the day, I'm thinking about it like at night. It's kind of n never ending, which you know, it sounds kind of bad, but it's it's really not. Basically my channel is always on my mind. Wish I was more brave about YouTube and posting. How did you start? Just start. That's all you have to do is just start. Accept that it's not going to be perfect. So just get that thought right out of the way because it's not and you're going to look back and think, oh, <laughs> there's so many things I should have done different, but you have to start. So that's, that's the biggest step and just keep at it if it's something that you like to do. The editor that I use is Adobe Premiere Pro. I did start on iMovie though and then I switched. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day wherever you are in the world and um, look out for the next DIY and I will see you guys later. Bye!